Stuart Lake. Tonight, that we will never forget. None more so than Lissy, PC Andrew Harper's wife, and all his family, friends, and colleagues across the precinct. Andrew lost his life doing what police officers do up and down the country every day, putting themselves in harm's way to protect the public. Despite having worked an already long shift and being ready to go off duty, PC Harper and his roommate, PC Shaw, responded to reports of a burglary in progress at Stamford Dingley in West Berkshire. They could have ignored that call, but it's not what professional and dedicated police officers do. P. Harper had all those qualities in abundance, and tragically, this cost life. It was the determined criminality of Henry Long, Albert Bowers, and Cole that caused these catastrophic events. All three of them knew that they'd been confronted in Admore Lane that night, but they were to evade arrest at all costs. Rather than stopping and accepting that they were caught red-handed, they sped off in a car which was deliberately modified into a dangerous condition with PC Harper entangled in the tow rope that had been to, to steal the quad bike. It was just over a mile before he became detached from the tow rope. I don't need to detail the horrific injuries that Andrew had suffered at the hands of these three men. Long, Bowers and Cole have shown no remorse for what happened that evening at any stage. They could have helped the investigation from the outset, yet they chose to either say nothing or in Long's case provide a false alibi. Their lies and deceit have been exposed during this trial. This investigation has been incredibly complex and distressing and I want to pay tribute to all those police officers, police staff, the CPS and the instructed lawyers who have worked tirelessly over the last 11 months. Lastly, to pay tribute to, to Lissy Andrew, and Andrew's family. Their dignity, courage, support this investigation has been nothing short of incredible and inspiring to us all. We will never forget the terrible loss of PC Andrew Harper. Standing here before all of you, I honestly thought I would be addressing you following a very different verdict. I had planned to talk of the beautiful future Andrew and I had before us. I expected my work to be so very different and, in all honesty, I am for the second time in the space of one year utterly shocked and appalled. The decisions made in these courts by strangers will never change the outcome that had already come to us. For many, many agonizing months, we have hoped that justice would come in some way for Andrew. We have put our faith in the justice system and all who work within it. We have waited with bated breath and heavy hearts as the dedicated prosecution barristers, investigation team, and Thames Valley police officers have worked tirelessly and whom we thank sincerely for all that they have done. As they stood in our corner and fought to ensure that these men were made to repent for their barbaric crimes. No verdict or sentence will ever bring my incredible, selfless and heroic husband back. The results from this trial had, I had hoped would bring justice, but in reality, make no difference to the heart-wrenching pain I will continue to feel for the rest of my life. Andrew was taken from us on that horrendous night last year. His life was stolen and the lives of his family and friends altered forever. This crime, whatever the outcome deliberated over in court, was brutal and senseless. The way in which Andrew was robbed of his life we all know to be barbaric and inexplicable. I'm immensely disappointed with the verdict given today. Andrew served in Thames Valley Police with honour. He went out night after night, risking his life for the safety and well-being of the innocent. As all police officers do with passion, ultimately, he laid down his life for us all. And it pains me more than I can ever explain that this has not been appreciated by the very people who should have seen his heroic and selfless duty. As so many other members of the public, total strangers clearly do. Myself and Andrew's family will never come to terms with our new lives. 
We will never understand how such a beautiful, loving, decent human being could be dealt this fate. I now have my own life sentence to bear, and believe me when I say it will be a much more painful, soul-destroying and treacherous journey than anyone facing a meagre number of years in prison will experience. Myself and our families will spend the rest of our days missing him, loving him, and being utterly proud of the incredible man that he was. We will never forget the kindness we as a family have received from all who have supported us over the past year. Friends, family, total strangers, and the almighty unity of the thin blue line. From the depths of our hearts, thank you.